have to answer the questions. Don't try to avoid the questions or, or distinguish your case in any way. Uh, the importance of that is very accentuated. Uh, um, you have to appreciate that the justices are engaged in the process of trying to help themselves decide the case correctly. Um, so they're going to ask hard questions. They're going to ask questions that don't put your case in the best possible light, and you need to appreciate that. Um, it's good to establish, and I, I think I didn't appreciate this as much as I should have, some dispassion. Um, yes, you want to have uh, uh, a certain level of zeal and commitment to your client's cause. The justices know that. But when they ask you a question about a difficult case, it's, it's better to sometimes say, you know, I appreciate that that case doesn't support my side. I appreciate that that causes us some difficulty. Um, here's why I think you shouldn't rely so heavily on that case, as opposed to as soon as they ask us, you know, no, that case doesn't hurt us at all, and here's why. Um, uh, they like you to be part of the process that is helping them come to the right result. They understand you've got a client to represent, and they expect you to do that, helping them reach the right decision, as opposed to something they have to push against to get you to give a, uh, an answer. I think that's very helpful, not only to the court, but also to your client.